What's going on, everybody? I actually have a couple stipulations in the cube. Depending on what we open in our first pack, I will see which one we do. Because sometimes it's like, do a reanimator deck, and I'm like, oh, we just opened no reanimator cards, so it's kind of difficult. So one thing I want to do when we have stipulations is make sure that I'm actually setting ourselves up for the, uh, the stipulation to actually work correctly. So I'm going to wait till we so this bad boy fires. I'm seeing American football tonight. Oh my god, dude. I'm so I'm super jealous. Where are you? Dimitri, where are you at? I'm quite jealous of that. I saw them once in 2015, I believe. Which is god, 4 years ago. That's unbelievable. Man, I would love to see them again when they come around here. Especially because they're coming out with a new album, I believe. Money. Cube time, otherwise known as the biannual goalie and Frank get matched together on him. Well, it's a good luck in our normal future matchups. <laughs> goalie, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Also, this wedding crashers gift is hilarious. <laughs> I'll find you. Oh, man. All right, what do we got here? One of the steps we have is... Shut up and take my money. It's Christmas time for Magic, my favorite time of the year. Same, buddy, same. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. Can I post a link here? Most likely. Oh, God, it's so hard. I think that did it. Um, so some of the some of the stipulations we have are Sultai, Sultai X... Gods must bring a lot of the Sultai good stuff and Sultai fixing power is, of course, a priority. Let's do that because there's a lot of good Sultai cards in this pack. Uh, we can take a Snapcaster or a Hydroid Crassus or a Phyrexian Metamorph. All of those are good. Add com stip. All right. <clears throat> I'm off to drinks. Thanks for... Dev, have a good afternoon, buddy. Um, I think it's just Snapcaster Mage, right? And then this Hydroid Crest is going to come back. Ooh, Tinker and Creeping Tar Pit. So the reason this was actually... The, the reason this was a stipulation was because I was actually having uh, a rough time. I think I, think I was going through a, a bout of like just losing a bunch of matches and getting frustrated. And so George B. was like, hey, man, here's a Sultai step. Just draft the Sultai cards. And I was like, oh, my God, you are you are a savior. Tinker is... And we also have Snapcaster to re-Tinker if we need to. I think Tinker's just too strong. I like Creeping Tar Pit, but Tinker's just out of this world strong. Force of Will. That's also a good card. You guys ever play Force of Will before? It's very good. Good Snapback Tooth and Nail. That's true. Did you guys see this uh, this sweet wedding crashers gif? I think it's Force of Will, right? We already have Snap. What are you saying right now? You can't just say Snap again. You can't just say. Yeah, Travis, you are super, uh, super, you are really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, pretty easy going with your steps, so. The key to a good job is to not just do it all, just find good gifts. It's tough. It's, it's true. It's true. Thank you. You just got to find the good gifts. Through an air, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, Overgrown Tomb. That works for our, for our Sultai love. What a weird thing to say. Underground Sea, please. And a Mystic Snake? Please come back, Mystic Snake. Come on, don't do me dirty, Mystic Snake. We can go Walking Blister for two into Tinker. That actually seems pretty decent. I also do like Green Sun Zenith, but a Green Sun Zenith and Finale of Devastation are in the cube? That's weird. I feel like you don't want both. They, they put a lot of redundant cards in the cubes, which is really weird to me. Because you have one version. Like, one version is obviously just better than the other, but... Tarpit is pretty sweet, but that was like 10 picks ago. Glensleeve Siphoner is actually pretty decent. Super Fits, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you. Turngate, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Mm. 
I'm going to take the Glint Sleep Siphoner for now. Oh, Baleful Strix? That's also sweet to tinker with. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Ponder is good, too, obviously. But Living Death or Riot? Well, you're going to be rioting, buddy. I got some bad news for you, my dude. Uh, Frost Titan is actually better than it looks. Scavenging use could be very good. Exile a bunch of graveyardy boys. I think we kind of just want Frost Titan here. Did I miss the Wedding Crashers gift? You did. There you go. Oh my god, you have Amadeus with Bubbleo? Bubbleo, 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 Figaro. That's actually, wait, that's Bohemian Rhapsody, not. Um, so you don't have Amadeus. Mm, Alright, we'll just take a Frost Titan. I'm trying to figure out what you're saying right now. I think it's Whisperwood, right? It's the only option if we're playing Sultai. Really? Did the Mystic Snake not come back? Well, I think that's the next pack, isn't it? Tooth and Nail still pretty good. Edric is good with all these. Oh, Edric is actually really good here. With all these little tiny value creatures. Like we just get in with Baleful Strix and Glensleaf Siphoner to, to draw an extra card. Beelzebub had a devil for a son for me, for me. Mystic Snake. Mystic Snake. Mystic Snake. Mystic Snake. Mystic Snake. Come on, Mystic Snake. One time, Mystic Snake. I think it's gone. I think someone took it. No, it's got to be the next pack, right? Spy Master is just a fancy word for narc. <laughs> Edric Nark of Trust. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Come on. Mystic Snake. Come on. Come on, Mystic Snake. Come on, I'll put little hands on my hands. Come on, Mystic Snake. Come on, Mystic Snake. Come on, Mystic Snake. Dang it, where's my Mystic Snake? This is unbelievable. I don't love Wall of Blossoms. I don't love any of these lands, to be quite honest, but Stomping Ground's probably better than a random Wall of Blossoms Maelstrom Pulse. How, how are you going to take my Mystic Snake? What's wrong with you people? How many times will you say it's in the next pack? Like 30. It's always in the next pack. It's going to be in this pack now. You ready? Come on, give me a, an on-color Mox. It's going to be Mox Ruby. It's going to be stupid Mox Ruby. Oh, Time Walk. Yeah. Butter my biscuits. Shut up and take my money. One snack buck. That's far funnier than it should have been, man. Also, Nicobolus Dragon God. That guy makes me feel some kind of way. We can splash it off this stomping ground. Ooh, do we want to do that? Do we want to splash Nicol Bolas off Stomping Ground? Being such a big fan of Tiny Hands, are you excited for the new remake of the Chugging movie? Uh, I wouldn't say excited. Wow, yes we do, yes we do, yes. Okay. What if this Volcanic Island comes back, guys? Demonic Tutor? That's basically power. Oh, we also have Time Walk Snapcaster. Oh, that's gasoline. Oh yeah, this is this is wonderful. Oh, uh, Verdant Catacombs is gas. It gets Stomping Ground and it gets Overgrown and it gets Underground Sea. That's that's a fantastic land. Oh, we got old Demo. Got old Demo. I think it's Birds of Paradise. I wonder how good Kaya is in this cube. Villy with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. You are Shut up and take my a money. champion. Okay. Hey, have yourself a draft bout on the cube. Hodgkulashi, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. I will. I will have a draft on the cube. I'm pretty sure it's just Bird of Paradise.
The sad thing is just like um just like Cruel Ultimatum, every card, every land you draw that is not uh, a land that produces one of these colors, like if you draw Basic Forest, it does make this a little bit slower. So I'm kind of tempted to take this big Vraska and just kind of avoid the mana the mana creatures. Oh, Misty Rainforest and a Primeval Titan. I mean, it's got to be Primeval Titan, right? Our lands are looking pretty decent right now. Yeah, we're going to take Primeval Titan. We can also still get uh, Polluted Delta, I believe. One snack buck. This is not the thick boy step, surprisingly. This is just a regular boy step. I mean, this seems like a pretty fair deck, to be honest, but it's also got, like, we got Force of Will, Tinker, and Time Walk, and Demonic Tutor. So, I mean, while the deck is fairly fair, <laughs> uh, it's also very good. We have Torrential Gearhook. We can hit basically just Force of Will right now. That's not good. I don't think we're an Avenger deck. I don't care about Necrotal. I think I just want Wall of Roots because it's ramp. Mm, Taiga is actually pretty good. It means we can play a turn one Greenland and not be penalized for it later in the game. I also do like Inquisition a lot, but I think I'm just going to take the land that fixes for this Nicol Bolas. Thank you. Clegane, thank you so much for the uh, the resub, buddy. Every time I read your name, I think it's Clegane. Like, uh, like Sandor or Gregor Clegane. I'm going to take this Lumbering Falls. Yeah, that seems good. Also, part of the step is Leovold must be priorities that were off-color power and time twister, which I'm totally fine with. Um... I don't think we care about Pestermite because we're not going to play double red spells, double tri or triple red spells for that matter. So I'm probably just going to take Primal Command. <laughs> Clegane, C L E G A N E, buddy. Come on, at least at least spell their name correctly if you're going to respect them. I like this curve. You got three three drops, three five drops, three six drops, no four drops, a bunch of two drops. I like it. Clygians? Yeah, the Clygians. I'm swapping Tassigrad for Uncle Leo in my cube. Who's Uncle Leo? Leovold? Uncle Leo! Ah, uh, Jerry! Yeah, I'll take Dark Confidant. Or we can take Tap Draw Card. Actually, Fire Ice is probably better because we do have ways to play both sides. We're going to play both sides. Uh, Polychronos, sure. Polychronos is a card that everyone dislikes, and every time I play it, it's just actually unbelievable. I started a GoFundMe for my brother to get the BlizzCon this year. We just met the goal. Dude, that's awesome. I thought you started it like three days ago, too. That's utterly insane, dude. Mike, I'm so glad to hear it, man. Andy was Andy is awesome. What if un, what if they unbarrel rights tables? It won't, but that'd be cute, right? It didn't. Well, biscuits. We still need a bunch of cards. I feel like. Um, yeah, Scrubland doesn't do anything for us. I like Solemn here. I also don't hate Days or Tireless Tracker. Hmm, Bone Shredder could be decent. Leaving ourselves open to smash. What if we open the trooper? Unbelievable. Oh my god. I feel like your bar is so high. Because you just keep managing to slip these Talon Trooper memes into every situation. Tinker does not seem great. That is correct. But it's still a card. So. I think it's actually Solemn here. Thank you. Who passes this? 
What the fudge? I really want this Thief of Sanity or this Factor Fiction, but buddy, buddy, I guess there had to be a Soul Ring in that pack. What in the earth, my dude? I like this Badlands, but I also like Hissing Quagmire a little better because it's two of our colored lands. And it also, like, if we want to play Hypnotic Spectre, which we just might, it makes our, our Hypnotic Spectre a lot better. I also have this 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 lighter here because I was I had to light something last night. That's that sounds weird. Um I had to phrase I had to uh to sear the edges of something. But so now I can make fire right on stream, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> Joint. That's what I was afraid of. That's what I was like. Let me let me phrase this a little bit better. Oh wow, a Bayou too. Unbelievable. Our mana base is looking just gorgeous. Assassin's Trophy. It's also green, so you can't see it. So I'm basically holding nothing. I'm basically a wizard. Yeah, you open Lotus and then you misclick and you're like, oh no, I've hit the wrong button. It's probably just Assassin's Trophy, right? Of course it is. Uh, if I had Lotus, Spectre, five other cards, no lands, I would probably keep it, to be quite honest. I'm all the, basically holding nothing. I'm basically a wizard. You are so stone, narc. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. I wish we had a creature worth... We could sack Wall of Roots to get Primeval Titan or Whisperwood Elemental, but that's not super exciting. It might just be Jace here. What if my mustache looked like this? And then also I could I could it could it could produce fire. I guess it can't produce fire after all. I guess we're just taking the Jace here. I mean I like natural order better, but oh then the lotus. So many lotuses. So many low ties. I also like Veraska. It just kills lots of relevant things. This ancient team is really good as well, but I'm gonna cut the Tinker, I guess. We're just gonna probably take the Veraska. Vivian Reed seems great. This deck's looking pretty sweet. I don't know how good it is, but it's looking sweet. Bone Shredder seems like a fine three drop. We also don't have that much rule, so. This is 23. I'm happy with this 23. All day. I also don't hate Raging Ravine. It's just like another third a third source of red for our Nicol Bolas. We could also take Fatal Push, but I think I think I like Raging Ravine a little bit better. What do we have for removal? We have Fire Ice, Assassin's Trophy. We have Maelstrom Pulse, Bone Shredder, Vraska. Yeah, we actually have a decent... Yeah, we're just getting Raging Ravine. Hero's Downfall is great. Might want to find a cut for that. Do we want Force of Will? I mean, even if we hard cast Force of Will, it's still good in this format. <laughs> oh, Elk Tears, my dude. I'll take a Regrowth. Regrowth could actually be decent here. I also don't hate a Bedevil. Wow. Yeah, we'll take Sweltering Suns. Never, ain't never gonna play it. Oh, Regrowth Time Walk is nice. Because now we have Regrowth and Snapcaster for the Time Walk. That's pretty cool. Our mana base is pretty sweet. I wish we had another blue land, but... I think we can cut Jace, actually, because it's double blue. Frost Titan's a double blue as well, but it's also later in the game. I kind of like Regrowth, actually, because you can also Snapcast to Regrowth. Also, Den Protector might just be better than the Regrowth, right? Den Protector is just a Regrowth on a stick, which seems better. It's also a creature you can just drop on turn two and then get through with an Edric, so I kind of like that. I mean, you still need one cut. It might be Force of Will. I don't think we have enough blue cards to really warrant a Force of Will. Like, we only have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six blue cards. So I feel like a lot of the time we're actually going to be 
uh, hard casting. I guess five with Nicol Bolas, but that still doesn't seem like a ton. Whereas Frost Titan is a pretty beefy boy. All right, so you're going to probably be under the blue cards. You guys are colorless. I don't know why you're here. Um, do we want one red just to search for it with... Uh, Solemn, probably. We have Verdant that can find both Stomping and Tiger. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Sure. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can definitely go to nine pretty easily. Especially because the forest does mess up our Nicol Bolas. Three black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that seems good. And then for blue, we have one, two, three, four, five. I actually think five is fine because we also have Solomon Lotus. Might want to go to six and then just cut the forest all together. Which I think is actually fine. This is also 16 lands. Oh, because we have a Lotus. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. This deck is interesting. I'm okay with it. No, uh, no lightning helix though, which, as we have learned, is bay. So we do have two Vraskas and a Nicol Bolas, though. I'm okay with that. Got two Vraskas and a Nicky B. Where it's at. Okay with getting past Lotus. You are not humble. Hey, buddy. I think that's totally reasonable. I will play first. Keep. Snap keep. Sneep, if you will. Turn two time walk? Yes. If we can get the the like the red source, blue source. Lotus Nikki B opener, that'd be such gas. Can you imagine if we go Hypnotic Spectre on turn three and then Nickel and then Edric on turn four so we can actually like make them discard and also draw a card? That seems good. I want to tell you, I resubbed a while back when I was going through some pretty rough finals. You had said a few encouraging words, and Lord knows I shouldn't have, but I passed everything. Nice! One more year of engineering classes, and I'm free. Thanks for all the... Hey, Kelsey, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it, and I'm so glad to hear it, buddy. Also, Kelsey, if you haven't done so, definitely join the subscriber Discord. It's super sweet, and uh, it feels like you'd fit in. There's a lot of encouraging people in there. It's a good place. It's a good place to be. Just tuned in. Perhaps I'm stupid. Who passed the Lotus or is it a joke? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Who does this? Exactly. Don't counter my hypnotic specter, dude. What are you doing? Are you going to force a will? <clears throat> uh, also, we have no idea who passed the Lotus, but it was good times. the hold up here oh nothing no hold up ah, cha -cha -cha -cha. what's this what do you got oh that's sad I has a sad Snap is Snap is Bay as well. Making pirates do 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 do. What if I actually cast Lotus, activated for blue, and then just activated Lumbering Falls on attack? What if we did a stipulation where I just make the worst play every turn? <laughs> uh, crack Lotus for 
Uh, Lumbering Falls, attack you for three. Go. Draw a card. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure they're dead here. We're totally going to time walk here, just to be clear. Oh, God. Vomitus. Can we do it? We can. We can go black, black, blue, and then we can kill one of our own creatures. Oh, they just conceded. Dang it. Dang it. Hater's going to hate. You mean your stream every day. Wow. <laughs> Stop! He's already dead. He is already dead. Also, everyone in the Discord is apparently starting to play Diablo 3 on Friday. Not starting, but like they're starting to uh, get together and play Diablo 3 this Friday for the new season. And my phone will not shut up about it. It's nonstop Diablo 3 notifications. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Turn 2 Glensleeve into turn 3 Edric. Yes. We just need a blue source. That's all. Still very good. We can do it. Also, if you guys haven't done so, check out coolstuffinc.com. You can get a sweet 5% off with promo code FRANK5. And also, I went, uh, an article went up today that you guys can check out. And it's about Ilharg the Raised Boar. And it's a sweet standard deck. So if you guys are looking forward to that, go check out the article. And uh, please leave a comment on the article as well if you like it. And if you don't like it, leave a comment as well and be like, this article sucks and I don't like you and you smell. And I'll be like, you know what? You're cruel but fair. And I appreciate that. But either way, check it out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Is it cool enough? I think it's cool enough. Just read my comment out loud. Okay, hold on. Pig, 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 pig. <laughs> pig, 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 pig. That's a that's an old meme. That's such an old meme. See, I felt I feel better when I'm not like visual. When I'm not visible, when I say that, I feel better because I feel silly when I'm saying it and, and you can see me say it. But if it was like this, if I was just like pig, 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 then I feel much more comfortable saying it. I don't know why it's weird like that. Hmm. Well, we did not draw a land that can activate a thing. Fire one and one. If you want, you can sing my comment. All right, hold on. Let me see your comment. So pick him up, 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 pick him up. What is that? So pick him up, 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 pick him up, 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 pick him up, 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 pick him fire. Like that? Is that? <laughs> that's a uh, that's a nice little Fallout boy, Fallout pig reference. Oh, good, a Maelstrom Pulse. You're going to kill this. No, you no, you draw that next turn. Oh, my God, Ashiok, why? Mountain and a Bayou, sure. I will definitely draw another card this turn, my dudes. Whew, nice. Nice. We could go Snapcaster Fire. Attack Ashiok for like one. Hmm. God, 
Shock is so hard to deal with. I do tune in just for the songs. Nice. I have a work call coming up in seven minutes, but I really want to keep watching. Please be courteous and keep it down for me. Thanks for understanding. Oh, man. We can also get a stomping ground at this so we can activate Raging Ravine. Yeah, I feel like we're way behind here. God, why can't Vraska kill Planeswalkers? I mean, actually, the other Vraska can kill this, which is pretty sweet. Miss Calc. Did they just Ashiok our Nicobolus, our Lotus, and our Swamp? Wow. Also, we were so close to... We could have actually cast Nicobolus if we just drew it next turn. Where's the justice, guys? There's no justice here. The world is a cruel, dark place. <laughs> oh, good times. Well, I will not be drawing a card here. It's got Swamp on the top. Well, that's something. Do you want to make sure we can play Ashiok next turn? I guess it doesn't matter because we can play this and still potentially play Ashiok next turn. Let's get Taiga. Could also attack with Raging Ravine. Attack with all three. They double block here, they block Raging Ravine, Ashiok takes two, this guy dies with no consequence. Yeah, it seems pretty bad. Oh, Pelucranos, that's nice. So they're going to draw a Swamp. We know their hand is Whisper Road, Maelstrom Pulse, Miscalculation, and then they're drawing a Swamp. It's a good amount of cards to know. Now, now, pick him up is stuck in my head right now from uh, Fallout Boy. Well, we're definitely bringing in like Heroes Downfall if we don't already have it. I think it's already in the main deck though. It's very good. Yeah, Heroes Downfall is already in here. Could see bringing in Bedevil too, just because they have things like Hostage Taker and Master and Courser. And hostage. Victory. Yeah. Victory is right. Not for me per se, but for someone. And you're hitting. Let's see. Oh, you're just putting a Bone Shredder into play, which I actually didn't even see. This time we are going to crack it because they could potentially deal something to this, so... And what does it say? Uh, when this creature dies, manifest the top card. Play in turn, face up non-token creatures you control. Okay, so these two have an effect and this guy does not. Sure. So Whisperwood is gone. We played the Swamp, that's gone.
Well, they put Ashok to one here. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't think we're going to get past this, but nevertheless. Ashok, more like Fart Cloud Face, am I right? I think you are correct, actually. I think they, I think that might be one of Ashok's names. Hey, how did we end up with the last Jeskai deck? We went 2-1. We lost uh, second round because we could literally... We had like six lands. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, we had like six lands, but we couldn't draw a single blue source. So we just had like five blue cards in our hand. Why has Genesis Wave been replaced with Finale of Eternity? I feel like you should replace Green Sun Zenith with Finale of Eternity. And by Eternity, you mean Devastation? Finale of Devastation? Or are you reading it off the list that tells you the exact Finale that's, that replaced it? Because that's weird if it... What's Eternity? Which one is that? Is that the white one? Is that the blue one? I don't know. Both of these are going to make infinite guys, which is very problematic. Did he got Palace Jailer? Why? Palace Jailer is fantastic. Oh, they have a, they have they have a Eternal Witness right on top. That's great. So next turn they can just go one two three get Eternal Witness. Maybe hit a land off the top. I mean, they could just kill a guy end of turn, kill a guy next turn. This is pretty brutal. I mean, Vraska kills a guy, I guess. That doesn't make it that good, though. I mean, they have three three creatures, three cards that make tokens every single turn right now, so. My kingdom for a, for a toxic deluge. I, mean, I doubt they're going to pay for this guy. Jailer got turned into a tithe taker? That doesn't seem good at all. Tithaker is poop. I mean, it's fine. It's just Thalia. Like, it's just a weaker Thalia. Yeah, Mastermind's Acquisition lets you get any card from your sideboard. So Mastermind's Acquisition, it's also a tutor. So you can search for any of the cards in either your sideboard or your main deck. Yeah, Mastermind's Acquisition is actually a great hit. Joke's on you. Why would you pick this guy instead of this guy? Unbelievable. I just ate a wolf. I just ate that wolf. They're also at 12. Maybe they just kill themselves with uh, with their own Bitter Blossom. Yep, so now they can just go... Uh, well, I guess they still have... They can go Witness and get back Verdant Catacomb. That doesn't seem exciting, though. What did they hit? They hit... Island, Stomping Ground, and Primeval Titan. I'm oh, sorry, had they kill that? Maelstrom Pulse. Trigon Predator. I would have probably picked up, uh, I would have probably went Eternal Witness for Maelstrom Pulse. Wow, this is, this is what's known as a beating. So, Witnit. <laughs> so Pulse is gone. They're going to draw the Delta. So they have Miscalculating Hostage and Witness. What happened to one of those cards? Oh, they manifested one of them. Oh, that's confusing. All right, I'm just done. Yarg, I'm still mad because change. <laughs> I don't care if you explained it to me. I still, it's change. That's fair. Oh, man, do we want this Sweltering Suns? I feel like it's brutal against them. Ugh. Okay, let's sort by converted mana cost here. I think we do want Bedevil. We also have Bone Shredder. I don't know if we need that, though. We have Maelstrom Pulse, Hero's Downfall, and Bone Shredder, and Vraska to deal with all their creatures. I think it's actually probably better than Fire Ice, though. Yeah, I like that better. Shut up and take my money. Remember when you got a Lotus pick two, Buck? That I do remember that. I do remember that that pick two Lotus. Pick two. Like I'm at the friggin' Panera. Remember that pick two Lotus? Yeah, I'll take a I'll take a Lotus and a Mox. 
Boy, sir, that's a good pick, too. Uh, this hand is gas. Look at this. We got two creature lands. Unbelievable. Their deck is pretty sweet, though. We need to find that guy. I want to know what the hell he did pick up. Yeah, well, let's find him. Hey, buddy, listen. We could probably go... No, we can't. We can't go back to the draft because it wouldn't... We can go back to the draft and, like, figure out who is next to us, but there's no way to hover over it because it's a video now, so... Um... Probably Lumbering Falls over Raging Ravine. I want to play this last because if we just draw lands that lead up to Nicol Bolas, then we get to play Nicol Bolas. So this could be the blue, this could be the red, this could be the black. If we draw two more, if we draw like black, black Nicol Bolas, this island is just going to make it rough. I'm pretty sure Rob just uses my stream as a way to promote MTG Jank now. Hmm. I'm actually tempted to just drop this turn one because they don't have a ton of removal and we can then we can start drawing cards off of Spymaster. So now I will awkwardly play Island here. No, just a follow. That's literally the same thing. <laughs> if you're promoting it, it's the same thing as getting a. I don't mind. Keep in mind, I don't. I don't mind. I just think it's funny. Hey, dude, you uh, you guys should check out Rob's Twitter profile called MTG Jank. He posts all these janky deck lists. Rob is for sure a narc. I always knew. This seems like a lot of thinking for one den protector that's not even getting value. Eternity is red? Interesting. What was that ha-ha-ha ah, 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 for? What was that laugh at? There are so many funny things that just happened. I can't even... Just sprinted from my kitchen so I can chime in here. <laughs> Rob is mega narg. <laughs> oh, fun, fantastic. Oh, this is great because this guy can actually just do the... This, these can never block this guy, right? Oh, man. Just the gassiest. Oh, they could daze this. Oh, don't daze. Oh, they didn't daze. All the best laid plans of mice and men actually come to fruition because of... Because of Den Protector and Edric. Shut up and take my money! One MTG... Twitter.MTG jank buck. That's not the, that's not the URL. Twitter.MTG jank is not how Twitter... Uh, parses its URLs, just so you guys know. It's twitter.com slash mtgjank, so check that out. And if you guys are looking for a way to support the stream that has nothing to do with Rob because he is a narc, definitely check out meundies.com slash franklapore, where you will get super soft micromodal underwear or lounge pants or socks or tees. Any kind of clothing you could probably think of will be sold there, and it's super comfortable. And it's meundies.com slash franklapore, and you'll get 15% off, along with free shipping. The link is in the description below. And my Twitch profile. You can find it everywhere. Do they have some drugs? Well, I don't think so. I also, I'm not quite certain you could wear the drugs. But I guess if you're on drugs, you could probably find a way. Hmm. Wow, that's rude. Okay. Well, I drew one card off of it. I guess that's really all that matters.
I mean, we need two more black sources for Demonic Tutor, or for Nicol Bolas, rather. I just blew through my MTG Jank promotion budget with that buck. Yeah. I mean, but sometimes that's what you got to do, you know? I'm kind of tempted to just look through my deck and find out what we have. We could go land, time walk, and then snapcaster, time walk, but it just doesn't do much. Narc regions? What is that? What is that even? Oh my god. National Association of Regional Councils. I don't think that's his Twitter, I'll be honest with you. I mean, the point is, like, on turn five, we can play this guy. So I don't know if we need to do this yet. But I like getting it out of the way because maybe we can search for something good. And we also have Snapcaster Mage, Maggio. Because we're not going to do anything this turn. So I kind of like just playing this. All right, let's see what we got here. Baleful Strix, Bledevil. Primeval Titan could be good. Actually, Vraska Golgari Queen could be great next turn. We could just kill their Bitter Blossom. However, they would have two two Spectery Boys by that point. Hmm. Did I say Spectery Boys? I meant Fairy Boys? What's wrong with me? <laughs> What's wrong with me? I think it's actually just time walk. I am mildly into pops. If I see a pop that I really, really like, that's cool. But I feel like they just take up space for me. I was thinking Polychronos, actually. I really like that. I don't think we have enough mana to really make it useful. And I think we're going to go Whisperwood into, like, Time Walk into Snapcaster Time Walk. Oh, you too, huh? Okay. Did they search? I wonder if they search for a land. Sure. Now I'm wishing I had that Polychronos for sure. So I, I think we want to draw something for three. What are you doing here? Are you a time walk? Are you gonna you know fatal you're gonna Do you have days or force of will and you're just slow rolling it? I guess not. I mean this den protector cover cover with this bitter blossom is three damage a turn. That's pretty good. What did we hit? Verdant catacomb. Your stream is good. Well done. Thank you. Appreciate it. I mean, there's not enough talent troopers for sure, but still. Time walk represents actually it might represent three because of Den Protector. They can't block it. Wait, no, ugh. I think you figured it out. How comfy are these MeUndies? They're extremely comfy. Can anyone in the chat who's ordered MeUndies confirm uh, how comfortable they are? I know there's enough people who have who have purchased these bad boys. They are mega modally comfy. Yeah, he's right. Despite being a narc, he is correct. Okay, well, what do you take? If you take this, I just sack it, so it's just a removal spell at that point. We could also just let it happen and then bone shredder this guy. They get another token. I think we're just on this train. Like, we're just going to sack this. And then we're going to bone shredder this time walk 
attack for two, attack for two. I ordered the Commando series, they feel like wearing nothing at all. Wow. No. Not good. I wonder if Bone Shredder's ready? Bone Shredder is always ready. Bone Shredder's ready! Oh, rip, rip Macho Man. As a Florida native, I can't tell you how many times I would go into the Chili's and see Macho Man Randy Savage. It would be a lot. Yeah, he would go to the Chili's all the time. It was hilarious. Chili's was a big deal, man. This is like 10 years ago. This is like probably 15 years ago. Bone Shredder is redder. You went to Chili's? Yeah, I used to go to Chili's all the time, actually. Quesadilla Explosion Salad for life, my dudes. I'm probably just going to attack with this. If they want to trade with Baleful Strix, that is A-OK. -okay. That was A-OK. -okay. This guy's going to go in the garbage can. Nope. Draw. Put you to five. I wish I had a second black source. But here we are. I guess we'll get one. Put you to three. Do we get one more turn after this? No, this is the last turn. That's fine. We still dealt six damage with this guy. So they have two turns. <laughs> Before they die to their own better blossom. What is your ranking? Chili's, Sizzler, TGI Fridays, Outback, Applebee's. Uh, TGI Fridays is probably at the... Sizzler is probably at the bottom. TGI Fridays is just above that. Applebee's is above that because I think... Um, the half-price appetizers after like 9 p.m. is just a good deal. So I actually will go to Applebee's after 9. If I know I'm going to like... If I'm hungry and I haven't eaten and I, I just want something cheap. Um, then... Chili's is probably second, and then I think, uh, as far as quality, Outback is is definitely at the top. But them green bean fries, my dude. <laughs> so it would go it would go Outback, Chili's, Applebee's, Fridays, Sizzler. You put Applebee's at the top, huh? That's fascinating to me. I think the rest of your... The rest is legit. You just switched Applebee's. So we just get to... They get to make a guy and we just get to kill it immediately? Oh, they get to sower our guy, but then we just get to kill that, so... This is all fine. We are ranking subpar chain. I don't know if I think I think Outback is fine. I don't think I've ever had a bad. Wait, did they take? Oh, they took. Oh, they're just Get dead then. Take my money. Naj Gulashi, where am I? Is this some kind of alternate dimension? <laughs> oh come on, come on! That's incredible. Naj Gulashi. Oh, man. Oh, GMN just did a restaurant. Oh, I have to watch the Good Mythical Morning uh, chain restaurant ranking video. That seems great. No, the funny thing is that probably wasn't even Haj Gulashi. Naj Gulashi. <laughs> oh my 
fucking dead, dude. Oh my god, can we just draw Lotus? Can we draw Lotus for the turn two Nicol Bolas? Jack of all trade, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. If you guys haven't done so, definitely consider subscribing to the stream. I stream at least five days a week, and uh, we do all kinds of things from modern to draft to standard. So if you guys want to support the stream, if you guys have a Twitch Prime account, if you guys have Amazon Prime, you can connect your accounts and uh, get a free sub every month. So, Okay, well, that's sad. I bet they don't take this. Kelsier, have a good afternoon, buddy. I hope to see you in the Discord, my dude. They took Den Protector? What's that? Biscuits. Come on, Lotus, 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 Lotus. I really want to land here. I really wanted a black land here. Lotus, Lotus, Lotus. Keep them Lotus. I just want a black land. I don't think I'm asking too much. They didn't do anything? That's cool. Oh, we're so good at this game! We could actually bone short of this and then just draw a card. I kind of like that better than... I like that better than not doing that. You counter this? You're going to kill this guy in response? Oh, you're just going to eat my... Yeah, that's fine. And we might actually keep this guy alive if the Edric lives, because then we just get to draw another card. Draw another two cards. Survive, Edric. Oh my god, we're doing it? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh Jesus. So now I'm kind of interested in playing this Vraska. I kind of just want... Actually, I don't think I care about that just yet. We're, I think we're actually okay. That's what we were actually hoping for. That's why we kept a blue up, because I'm like, if we hit a, a time walk, I definitely want to be able to play it, because I think there's a lot happening here, especially when we're drawing two cards a turn. This is actually insane if we hit one land. Okay, we just got to hit one land here. Okay, couldn't, couldn't do it. Time walk in hand. Couldn't hit the land. And then we'd have six next turn. We can go immediately into this, kill this. Oh, God. I mean, our grip is good. Where's the Nodge? I feel I have so much to discuss. You do. You do. Oh god, this is where they're like, I'll discard Woodfall Primus and I'll search for a, a reanimate. There's no creature that reanimates. <gasps> Joke's on you. Oh, Plague Crafter. Okay. I mean, I'll get rid of my Bone Shredder. I mean, they're probably just going to reanimate this and kill, like, one of our good lands. Yes, that's so much better. I will get rid of Bone Shredder. Okay, so if we do hit a land here in the next two draws, we did it. Okay, now we just need to hit one land in the next, like, three draws. One draw from Edric, one draw for the turn, one draw from Edric, one draw from Baleful Strix, and one draw for the next turn. Okay, so we actually have five draws to hit a second land. We can also just play uh, Vivian Reed at some point. Not yet, though. Can I time walk here? I can. Can I play a Baleful Strix? Can I play a Baleful Strix? Do, 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 do. That's a good land to hit. Gonna take my turn, gonna draw two cards, and gonna play all the things. My deck's looking sweet. Do, 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 do. You guys like this song I'm saying? Uh, Vraska's probably better here because we can actually get rid of the... Like, we can play both of these. So, I'm going to kill kill this. That song was delightful. 
Thanks, buddy. All right, we just want to hit a land here. Our deck is actually going going off here. This is great. We're doing it. I think at the beginning of this conversation, someone was like, should I take out Edric? And I'm like, yeah, go for it. He's not that great. And then we're like drawing. We've drawn like eight cards off of Edric. What do we have? 20 cards? They're 27. Did we play a land this turn? Dang, that's that's sad. I got to discard a land. Hachi machi. I think we're still doing fine. I come for the magic and stay for the music. That's all I want to hear, my dude. Unburial rites would fall, Primus. Wow. Is it possible to predict the things that I predict any better? Draylax, Vintage Cube, Frankles, already gas. I agree with you. I agree with everything you just said. All the words that came out of your mouth there, I agree with you. I do want a card that X. Oh, we have we have. Oh my God, we have all the things. We have Snapcaster, Time Walk, one two three four five one two. We can actually do everything. We can play Nicol Bolas, Snapcaster, Time Walk. This is a lot of things. Oh, boy. I wish we could get rid of this efficiently, but the problem is... Um, what do we go? Black, 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 blue. Actually, we go black, 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 and we make we crack this for blue. Red, blue, right? And then we can go Nicol Bolas. Draw a card, make you exile a card. I don't think we played a land here either. Uh, why wouldn't they get an activation afterwards? Oh, I see. We probably like we we trophy this first. Yeah, I could see that. Guess I don't have to choose. Oh, wow. <laughs> we do actually just win. That's fantastic. All right, that'll do. I guess they're like, Woodfall Prime isn't going to cut it here. Wow, that's fantastic. Thunair did call it, actually. Should have taken that scavenging ooze. Our deck is sweet. Thank you. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for the great content. Thank you for the resub. Seems like a uh, mutually beneficial relationship here. We did it. We did it. Oh, did we ever do it? Take my money. Is <laughs> Naj Gulashi, is someone looking for me? <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? God, let's just hope they don't do something too broken. Okay, that's fine. We could also wait a turn and just Primeval Titan. Is that better? I don't think so, right? Mm. 
Wow. Turn to Nicol Bolas. I mean, I wish they didn't have scavenging use. This hand would be this this board would be insane. Like he's gonna go to two now, which is rough. They could also discard a creature, pump, and put him to one. But then we have Waller to block scavenging use forever almost. That's pretty good. Not really, but in spirit. Surprised baby swole Mike.jpg. <laughs> That's a solid meme. What are they exiling? Mere Battle Sphere and Swamp so far? That's pretty good. I mean, they could kill this, eat it, kill Nicobolus. I feel like that still puts us in decent shape, though. The second green was nice, because now Shut we can actually cast our things. Money. That's fine. Kernicious dude. Yeah, I was looking for Nodgul. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, block here, for obvious reasons. I wish you... Oh, my God, they did nothing. Oh my god. Oh boy. This feels in, this feels like an insurmountable advantage. No not gonna lie. Next time we get to either Primeval Titan or Vraska. Oh boy. Okay, we win that game. Wow, turn two nickel bullets. <laughs> Oh, that's a good card. That's a good card. Remember that time we were like, hey guys, should we uh, splash this Nicol Bolas off of this like stomping ground? And you guys were like, yeah, let's do that. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, let's light one for the homies. I, I, well, I didn't say that. Also, that doesn't even make any sense. It's That's not even what you do. You don't even light, you don't light one for the homies. That doesn't even make any sense. My desk is just littered with gifts. Uh, and I use the term gifts loosely. Uh, props, let's say, from Kerwit. So, like, he's got this monocle. And then there's these glasses. And then there's this green screen mask. And it's just, like... It's just so much. There's just so many things on this desk. It's unbelievable, really. I just wish poor Nodge was around to see this. <laughs> Oh man, can we three out? Oh my god. Do we turn one Hypnotic Spectre, turn two Glint Sleeve Siphoner? That seems gas, right? My mom says she lights one for the homies pretty regularly. Wow. We don't have a red source, so we can't nickel bolus this this game, unfortunately. I think we just have to go turn one Hypnotic Spectre, right? Because we still have Den Protector to get this back if we want to. Thank you. They also mulliganed, so. Hodgegulash, you gifted a shove to Dostal. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Dostal, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, they did have it. All right. Two for one. Seems good. I mean, it's the red deck. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you gonna do, you know? Uh, sometimes they get red sometimes you get redded on. Give me a red source, please. That's literally the last thing I wanted to hit there. That's no good. I'm really tempted to just... I'm just going to ice on their turn, actually. I'm going to ice their Zergo. 
my god. But if we hit a land... Yeah, it's whatever. Banefire. Wow. Although, theoretically, like, if we hit a red, we can kill this, which is pretty nice, but I don't think we're going to... Oh, wow, there's a red. And it's also a tap land, so that's pretty rough. Well, if they don't just straight up kill this, we get to... Hmm. Banefire for one, put a counter on your runaway steamkin. Eidolon of the Great Revel. Interesting. Oh, this is pretty aggressive. Why didn't I just play? I should have just played. Oh, we were going to play Fire. That's fine. I think we might just be dead here. They have one card in hand, though. We kind of have to kill this, right? I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm for sure blocking the Eidolon. It just makes all our makes the rest of our life harder. And we know one of their cards is Banefire, so if this guy actually doesn't have another instant speed spell, yeah, we're just going to trade with Runaway Steamkin, which is totally fine. Yikes. Why don't you play that pre-combat so that you have a... That's weird. That seems terrible. Are we dead here? We block, we take four, and then they shoot us for three. Are there cards for more of the spark in this cube? But there are cards for more of the spark in this cube. Yep, they just four us. And then they attack with everybody. Yep, that seems fine. Yep. You got it. Wow, Bane Fire for the win. Okay, did we have cards we were going to bring in? Sweltering Sun seems good. I can probably take out one island for another mountain. Primal Command, also nice. Probably better than Vivian Reed. Uh, Frost Titan, probably worse than Jace here. Well, they probably can't kill a Frost Titan. So what do we add? We added Sweltering Suns. Oh, we added Sweltering Suns. We didn't take something out. We just uh, actually... Hypnotic Spectre actually doesn't seem that great here. Smell like this. I don't even care. I don't even care. Um, yeah, this hand seems money. very good. Han Hans Molman, I was saying, boo. Or her Hans Molman doesn't say that, though. <laughs> oh, God. We're all keeping this hand for sure. Turn three Primeval Titan. Seems pretty good. Does he? Oh, because then they're like, they're not saying boo, they're saying boo earns. I was say, does he? when does he say that? This is the Rolling Stones episode, right? Where it's the Ramones? 
Did they like cut to him and he's like, I was saying boo earns. Is that is that how it happens? Let's get underground. The only Boo Earns episode I remember is is the Rolling Stones episode, so. Yeah, next turn turn three Primeval Titan against the red deck seems pretty bonkers. Oh, we're definitely Oh no. Oh yeah, we're definitely killing something here. It's not gonna be Goblin Guide because that guy just uh Thank you. that guy just gives us gifts. Wonko El Sena. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. Oh, don't do that. Whew, clicked on the wrong one. Thank goodness for undoes. Yep, this is pretty good. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a third turn Primeval Titan, but... Let's get a Lumbering Falls and... If we draw Nickel Bolas, we do want to be able to cast it, so probably an Overgrown Tomb. So now we can go black, 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 blue, red. Sure. Now your Goblin Guide has to attack. Shut up and take my money. Give me a land. Milk tears. What's a dimension? Anyone have any hungry Howie's jackets? <laughs> oh man, this stream has been. Oh man, Chef Boy RD. What does that mean? I don't know. It's delicious though. All right. We can actually tutor up. Oh yeah, we're definitely tutoring up time walk and then going time walk tutor snapcaster tutor. And then we're just probably going to win the game at that point. I can't imagine there's there's much more our opponent is doing at that. They have one card in hand. Gonna take another turn. Play my lands. Then you're gonna... Gonna attack for six more damage using Rami Evil, getting all the lands, putting them into play. No, I'm not paying. This is they're they're just dead. They're just dead to this Primeval Titan that's gonna attack for a million turns in a row. If I show you this Snapcaster, will you concede? Say Uncle. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> That'll do. All right. I guess I guess three turns in a row with the Primeval Titan on turn three is probably all they need to see, I guess. Our deck is sweet. George B., thank you so much for the stipulation, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Shut up and take my money. Ribovisionary918. Wear them haters. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. I'll keep this hand. It's slow, but... We got playables. We can use this as a pseudo explorer if we need to. Oh wow, Mox Jet? Uh, and no play on turn one? Fascinating. Oh god, here comes Goblin Rabble Master. Oh, Sulfuric Vortex? Wow. That's greedy. What can we tutor for that gets rid of this? We have quite a few things. We have a Viviana, a Viviana, a Liliana. No, Vivian. Viviana, Liliana, Vivian. Um. We could just get Lotus, actually, and then next turn we could Lotus. Oh, we could we could get Frasca. Yeah, I like that. Oh, also Maelstrom Pulse does it next turn. 
Let's get Maelstrom Pulse. We have actually a ton of things. Holy crap. Vraska, Vraska, Maelstrom Pulse, uh, Primeval Titan, technically. Or uh, Primeval, Primal, Primal Command does it, technically. Uh, Assassin's Trophy. The Boons episode is the episode where Burns... Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Sio Visionary. Karn is still the best three drop in cube. Kappa. Time walk. Hey, Frank. Time walk here. Just play me, nerd. Wow. Shut oh, up boy. Oh, boy. I almost think getting rid of the Chandra is the best. God, we're going to take two, two, and two. This is brutal. Like, Chandra is just dealing the same damage that Volcanic... But we also have a uh, hero's downfall, so. Yeah, this is going to be rough. I think we're just going to. I think this is uh, now a 2 1 deck, unfortunately. We also have Bone Shredder to kill the, the Eidolon. We have lots of things here. always hit Ash what's going on buddy a cube is active and a goblin guide seems good well land is nice well they have one card in hand so we can bone shredder this guy block here we'll take four five six I mean, I think that's our only option. Like, we got a four. <laughs> we got a four on our turn. We could block here. We got a two. And then we die. If they kill this, we're just dead, right? Oh, now we're just dead anyway. Yeah, this deck is insane. Well, that's unfortunate. What can you do? Two, one, two, one. I will block you, and then I will die. Fun games. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Check out manatraders.com if you're looking for a sweet subscription service to rent physical paper cards or digital magic online cards. Both are great. And you can get 20% off your first three months with the link and promo code in my description. So be sure to check that out. It's a great way to support the stream and also get a sweet service out of it as well. Slam those like and subscribe buttons for me if you really like the content. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.